Hey, 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 and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about orientation day. Let's get started. All right, it's about to be the next year. We're about to start some school. It's about to be second grade. Yes, I am dancing. I'm making a complete craziness of myself, but all right. So yes, I I am so excited uh, for the new year and due to like our own personal reasons, um, I pushed our second grade start date for August 24th. Uh, it gives me a little bit of time to kind of finish up some final touches on our curriculum, adjust our schedules a little bit, give us some more time to prep and, and be prepared for the new year. But as I was doing that and as I was thinking of all these things, uh, orientation, I thought about, I was like, hmm, how can I make the first day of school really fun and inviting and engaging for Zoe and it not just be like we go right into the books? Uh, and so with that, I thought about it and I kind of had a, like a nostalgic moment of like what made me excited for his first day of school when I was a kid. And my mom made a point to do a few things to just, you know, give me a little extra confidence and get me excited. And I was like, I think I want to do this for Zoe uh, and even Josephine. She'll be a part of it, but I know for Zoe, she'll kind of understand it a little bit more. And so next weekend, I'm actually taking her on a little mommy daughter date and we're going to go get her her first day outfit. I think that's a great thing. It's not so much as that she needs to have new clothes or anything like that, but in our home, we do believe that Monday through Friday when we're having a school day, we get dressed for the day. We only wear our pajamas when it's time for bed and on the weekends when we don't have anywhere else to go. But during the week, I like her to be ready and excited to be prepared. I get dressed just like they get dressed. And so I thought about, I was like the first day of school, we've got to make it a little extra cute. So we're going to go and do a little shopping and uh, get her her first day outfit. We're gonna do our first day of pictures this year. And with that, I picked this up at Target. The little first day, she can put her name, first day of second grade, and then it says teacher. And then on the back, it has the last day. And I love this. We are a huge picture family. If you follow us on Instagram, you'll see why. Um, and with that, I wanted to build some traditions. and. One of them is the first day of school. I want to continue to do that, but I also want to continue doing yearbooks. So this was our first homeschooling year yearbook. And I loved doing this. This is from the previous year. And Zoe totally had so much fun uh, just creating and capturing every moment. There's some from like her Girl Scouts to when we went on trips to the zoo and all those things. And I love capturing that because this is something she'll get to keep forever. And so with that, I was like, okay, we got to have our first day of outfit. We got to take our first day pictures. Um, and then I wanted to build upon the excitement for the rest of the year. So I picked up some things and even though we already have all our tools and everything, I'm not going to buy a new backpack and all those things. I don't have to do any of that. But there's a few things that I know that gets Zoe excited. So I picked up this cute little folder that she can stick all her little side projects that she likes to do after school. And this has little kitties all over it. And if you hadn't known already, my lovely uh, almost seven year old is obsessed with cats. We have a cat, Mr. Pickles. You might see him chime in on my videos. He'll sit in that chair. Um, but also just like, she's a kitty superhero. She's got books that she's written about them. If she's in a different life, she would want to be a cat. So I figured let's embellish on that. Also, she loves uh, drawing, painting, sketching. And so every year I always buy her her own sketching journal. Uh, and I love this because if she wants to start a story, she can. If we go on nature walks or, well, she has a nature journal for that, but like when we go on just little traveling uh, excursions or if we're going on a field trip, she'll take this bad boy and she'll just draw on it, paint in it, uh, uh, tape stuff in it, little treasures that she finds. And so I got her this to get her excited and I also stuck some uh, little cat stickers on the top just to make it a little playful and fun for her. So those are just a few things that I added. Um, and then I want to, we're gonna have a little bit of order of our operations. It's not gonna be complete, just nothing, but we are gonna do kind of like an icebreaker. I'm gonna have um, printing out this prompt that kind of just ask her, you know, what is 
your what are you looking to learn this year what is something you want to work on this year what do you feel are your three top uh strengths in what are the things that you're really strong in what are the things that you know those three things that you feel that you need to work on and also like i have this little poster which i'm sure it's going to be kind of hard to see with my window sunlight here but uh if you watched my intentions video i talked about our word for the year we have a word every year last year was grace giving us the pace of grace and this year it's going to be trust um and so i did a whole video i'll link it in the description below if you'd like to check that out but it says time resilient unique soul and trusting and i have it on this huge poster board that i'm actually sticking in our classroom so we can see it each week um, and for the year and i want to talk about it have some conversation about what does each word mean why did i build out that acronym and the prayer that we want to have over ourselves for our year we're also going to do some bible trivia we have i do like the kids uh charades little thing where you can hold it over your phone uh, over your head and they have to guess it zoe's actually really good at it um so we're gonna do that we're gonna have a board game instead of just starting diving right into the books we're gonna kind of just like have some fun put on some worship music have a really good breakfast uh and then we'll dive into probably our literature and bible time for the day uh, that will look like most of our orientation. I will express to her and kind of show her, you know, here's a slight little small introduction of like, these are the categories in which we're going to be covering um, and just kind of give her a visual so she can see it. And then we'll just dive into some literature. So we'll do some read aloud time. We'll also maybe take the rest of the day off and go for a hike or a trail just so that we can know that like, yes, we have a big year upon us, but I really want her to feel and, and embrace it with enthusiasm and excitement and the only way that she can is if i am excited and enthusiastic about her year so i encourage you if you have a plans for orientation you know please put them in the comments below i'd love to hear your orientation thoughts like are you doing it have you ever done it before what are some tips i'm here to learn too uh love to engage with you guys if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up hit that red subscribe button. And until the next time, I'll see you on the next video. You have a wonderful day. Bye. Wow, you okay? Yeah. You can go see the, the, the butterflies that start with the man. The butterflies that start, the monarch butterflies? Uh-huh. Hmm, we gotta remember when do they come out, right? Um, they come out in When do they migrate? Yeah, so right now it's summer, right? Yeah.